Welcome to the Thursday, February 18th, 2016 edition of Ernerberry's Market Video, sponsored by Eastern Quality Foods. In today's video, estimates for the upcoming cattle on fever port are in. Then later, U.S. chicken exports were hit hard in 2015. But first, GMP says its flagship chicken brand will add no antibiotics ever and humane certified to the line. Here with that story is your host, Jocelyn Garcia Rojas. The Midwest provider of premium natural chicken, GMP Company, announced that it will be adding no antibiotics ever in the American Humane Certified Farm Program sealed to its all natural chicken products sold under its flagship Gold and Plum brand. The first Gold and Plum products featuring both of these claims will hit store shelves in March, with more to be added in the summer. The company will gradually extend to these attributes to the entire Gold and Plum line with the goal of all products to offer them by 2019. For more on GMP's latest products movement and more from the center of the plate, please visit foodmarket.com. Next up, here's Erna Berry's Newswire's Jamie Chadwick with the analyst estimates ahead of Friday Cattle on Feed Report. USDA will release its monthly cattle on feed data Friday afternoon. An analyst predict on average for the number of animals in the nation's feed yards as of February 1st to be down just slightly at 0.2% below a year ago. Placements or young cattle entering the feed yards for January were projected to be 0.7% below the year ago figure. Finally, marketings or those sent to slaughter are predicted to be 2.2% under the previous year number. For more information on the Erneberry Newswire's cattle survey, subscribers should click on the red meat tab in Comtel. Thanks, Jamie. Moving over to poultry, U.S. chicken exports were hit hard in 2015. Here is market reporter Terrence Wells with the story. Recently, the USDA's Foreign Agriculture Service released its export data for December, and all it did was confirm what we already knew. Year-to-date totals of U.S. chicken exports were down significantly compared to the previous year. A total of 6.3 billion pounds were exported in 2015, down from 7.2 billion pounds in 2014, and 7.3 billion pounds in 2013. AI-induced bans played a major role here, but they weren't the only outside influence. A strong U.S. dollar and weakened oil economy further diminished the buying power for several of our trading partners, impacting both the overall volume and value. Mexico remains U.S. chicken's top export destination, but absent from participation in 2015 were Russia and China. In 2014, the, the two trade partners accounted for more than 576 million pounds of U.S. chicken imports, but trade barriers that are still in place today between them and the U.S. stymied any chances of us seeing a repeat this past year. That concludes today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great day. This broadcast is sponsored by Eastern Quality Foods, wholesalers of poultry, beef, pork, and seafood since 1954. Visit them online at easternqualityfoods.com.